In the last couple of videos, we've seen how given a circuit, we can trace it and determine its Boolean expression. In this video, we're going to go the other direction. Given a Boolean expression, can we come up with its appropriate circuit? So here's a Boolean expression. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do what we were doing before, but in reverse. And I'm going to try to break this expression down, starting with its smallest components. So in the parentheses is the one I'm going to start with. And before I even do that, notice this P is negated. So I'm going to start with two inputs, P and Q. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a NOT gate. To this P to get that not P. So we've now done that one. And now I want to AND it with the Q. So I'm going to have an AND gate. Like that. So now we've taken care of this first part of the expression. So we're going to look on this other side. We have a not Q. So I'm going to create a not Q. We just break this wire up and move it over like that. And now notice we want to OR the not Q to the rest of it. So I'm going to draw an OR gate and attach the output of this AND with the output of that NOT. And we're going to have our circuit. Now if you want to check, you can always go through and figure out, given the circuit, what's the Boolean expression. So this would be NOT P. This would be, this is really drawn awkwardly. Let me fix this drawing. I'm going to do this. Both are correct, but this is just a little cleaner. There we go. Okay, so if we're tracing through, this one is Q, so this is not P and Q, just like we wanted. Over here is not Q, and ORing them together would give us not P and Q or not Q, which is exactly what we had up here to start with. Okay. Pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. This one's a little bit more complicated, but you're going to want to start probably with that inner parentheses. Think about how you would solve this if this was algebra. You always start in the innermost parentheses and then work out. Okay, so pause the video. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to start as suggested, and I'm going to start with this one. Now, notice this has three variables, P, Q, and R. And at the moment, with this inner parenthesis, we're going to have a not R and a Q. I'm going to have a not R and a, you know, with an OR, an ORed with Q. So, like that. Okay, we want to AND that whole thing now with P. P come down, we're going to have that OR, here we have it. So now I'm going to work on this other side, we have P and R. 
so I'm going to draw, again, I'm kind of going to be a little awkward, but that's okay. P and R, like that. I'm going to put a break right there and come down. And now we have P and R. Now notice the P and R is negated in our original problem. So I'm going to put that through a not gate. And then finally, these two parts are and together. And there we go. We have the circuit for that Boolean expression. And you can run through and check that if you'd like.